Hi guys and welcome to another Diddy theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well we've got some nice little custom animated buttons for you today. We've got to do a little bit of coding for this, bit of CSS and a bit of HTML, but it's really easy to do. Don't let the coding put you off. Any code I write I'll put down below. And this code today has actually been supplied on CodePen, if I click on this first button. By somebody called come hope and it's just a bit of html and a bit of css so let's get started first thing i'm going to do is enable my visual builder and i've got a section with that uh, gradient background there in that section i've got a row with two columns obviously you make yours how you wish i'm simply going to delete this module here and we'll start from scratch now i'm going to use a divi code module for this today so i'm going to hit the little button to add a new module Divi comes as standard with all these modules. If you've got WooCommerce installed, it'll give you another dozen also to display your products. But today I'm just using the regular code module. Okay, so there it is. Let's go over to CodePen and grab a bit of code. Well, here's our HTML. But before we actually start coding, let's have a look at what we've got here. Now, I don't want any of the body text because we've got our own body. Now they're using unordered list and list item. List items there. That's fine, but I don't want to affect any of my other lists. If I was to copy this at the moment, it would change my menu and any other list items that I've got there. So we're going to do a bit of playing around and I can do it here. Normally I do it here before I copy it over. What I'm going to do is copy the regular thing over show you where it's going wrong and then show you how to correct that so what we're going to do is i'm going to grab all of this html here control a select all control c copy or right click and copy we'll go back now here's our code module now the first thing i really want to do with this is i want to put our own div in there because if i do this it's going to affect all of our unordered list. So I'm going to wrap this in a div and give it a class of its own. And I can't put this down below because of the pointy brackets, but it's really easy. So it's left pointy bracket, the word div for div. Now I want to give it a name so we can identify it. So I'm going to say class equals, open a couple of inverted commas. In between the inverted commas, we can put whatever class name we want to give it and it wants to be unique and it wants to make a bit of sense so I'm going to say CBT for custom button that's kind of my shorthand if you will call yours what you will but like I say it wants to be unique and something you're going to remember now we need to put a pointy right bracket on to close it and immediately it puts a closing div tag there which is great and we can copy or paste rather our code we just copied in between there. Now we can target all of our ULs on here. I don't know if you can see that very well. Let's just put that in. There's no CSS to tell it how it should display at the moment. So now we can identify this as CBT, CBT, UL, LI, etc., and just target it specifically. So let's go and grab some CSS. And because we're using CSS, we have to open some style tags. I'm going to drop down a couple and again style tags left pointy bracket the word style right pointy bracket and as soon as you put the right pointy bracket in it'll put the closing style tag which is exactly the same just with a forward slash in there all opening tags should have a closing tag okay well let's go back to the code pen and grab some css here and here's our css over here like i said i don't want the body because we've got our own body and this should work fine with it and uh, we've got all this here and I'm going to copy it over and it will make things look a bit strange when I do this so I'm going to take it from the first UL there on line 10 all the way down all the way down control C to copy we'll go back and watch what happens when I paste this in here it's going to change the way our menu looks up there and any other list items that we may have on the page so 
between the two style tags opening and closing and I've got my cursor in there and I'm going to hit control V to paste and as you see that's completely messed up the menu and the social icons and these things down here but that's okay this that's the reason we gave it our specific class so we can target things correctly so there's a class we gave it CBT for custom button now every UL and every LI I'm going to put that class name in front so all class names have to have a dot so it's dot and then the class name which is CBT and a gap and then the UL now I'm just going to copy that including the gap and I'm going to put it in front of all our LIs and ULs so control C to copy there's one so this way it's just affecting the list items within our module here every li just paste that in before it and the last one right there so as you can see we fixed that problem and it's not affecting any of the other list items or unordered lists on our site which is what we want now we've got our buttons here now obviously you're going to want to make these your own if that fits in with your site that's fantastic but i'd rather kind of make these my own colors so if we look it up at our CSS here, we've got a few colors we can play with. Let's go up to the top. I think the border and the text is just orange right here. So let's roll up. There's that orange color. So you can just click on the little dot, left click, make it whatever color you want. I'm going to make mine a kind of light blue. Obviously you make yours whatever color you want. Yeah, I think that works for me. Maybe a bit bluer and the background color itself you can make it whatever color you want and if we roll down there's our background color again you can see a little color dot there make it whatever color you want i'm going to just make mine fully black there we go i think that stands out nicely then of course you're going to want to link these somewhere to take your visitors wherever it is you want to take them and of course you're going to want to put the names in if you want to use it for a menu that's fine too but i'm going to use mine to link to other options and pages so of course you want to put your own text in there and if we look up here we've got a list item with the names the writing in white there let's say option one and CSS it's making it it's capitalizing the first letter for us so if I was to write that as a lowercase you'd see it be uppercase O as well makes no difference all right well let's make these our own C control C to copy control V to paste and obviously do three four if you want to add another button simply copy from the list item opening tag to the closing tag there control C drop down one control V paste it in there and you've got an extra button just back that up tidy it up option of five there we go and of course these are fun and look great but they don't do anything if people click on them they're not going to go anywhere so we want to add links to them and to do that what I'll do is I'll pull this up and I'll try and zoom in on this when I render this video we need to add anchor tags to all of this these list items to take people to where we want to take them so to do that again it's left pointy the letter a for an anchor tag then we have to say where the hyperlink wants to go so that's href href equals open some Two lots of inverted commas in between we want to paste the link wherever you want to take them whether it's your site or off-site i'll just grab the link from code pen here and we'll go back and you can pop the link in there and then to finish off just after that last inverted commas there you need to put a right hand bracket in and it'll put put a closing a tag in there but that doesn't want to be there the closing a tag wants to be on the other side of the list so control x to 
cut or just delete it and write your own and we'll put it on the other side of the closing list item tag there that way our whole list item is wrapped in an anchor tag so anywhere we click on here it's going to take them to this link above when you're happy save your changes now I'll save this and just demonstrate that actually before I do that let's go back in here because I'm linking off-site to this page here I want really to leave my site open I don't want it to go from here on the same tab to open this page so if you're linking off-site like I am here we just can add a new line to make sure it opens in a new tab and leaves the site open if you're linking to your own site you do not need to do this so we just need to write target t-a-r-g-e-t -E equals open two lots of inverted commas there and in between we can put the word underscore blank and that way it'll open our little target in a new tab let's get rid of that gap right there okay let's save our changes and we should be good to go we'll save the page changes and let's exit the visual builder And there we go we've got five little animated buttons there we added an extra one and we actually added a link to our first one here when I click on it it should open this code pen in a new tab let's actually close that and try it out there we go so there's how to make some custom animated buttons thanks again to come hope that supplied this code so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Like I said, it's a nice little feature to have on your site. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.